Thank you for staying with me. I have covered quite a lot under panel ARDL estimations. But please, before you watch these final steps, make sure you watch these prerequisite videos listed on the screen. Do not skip them. This will give you the foundational knowledge that you require. And they will also keep you up to date of what we have done so far. We have taken all the steps indicated in red. And this video, I will only cover step 9 and 10. These steps, as you can see, are actually optional. But just in case, if you want to undertake it, let me put you through on what you can do. For causality tests, you can perform either the Granger World or Weak Exogeneity test. But I will tell you this step is optional. Personally, I don't conduct causality tests if I'm doing panel ARDL. This is because causality can always be inferred or determined by looking at the significance of the error correction term for joint causality or the long-run coefficients for long-run causality. The short-run coefficients will indicate short-run causality while the combinations of the error correction term, long and short-run coefficients will indicate strong causality. So personally, I always keep causality test. Once I get my results, I can always infer causality using any of these approaches. So let me take a result and I will just show you what to look out for. Recall our PMG results under estimation. This upper part of the table is for the long run coefficients from where you can infer long run causality. So if you are interpreting the coefficient of the log of DCF, you can always say that the log of DCF has a long run causal impact on economic growth at the 1% level. Wide trade openness also has a long run causal effect on economic growth at the 1% level. For short run causality, there is no short run causality in the model because all the coefficients here are not significant. But if you look at the error correction term, you can infer joint causality of the variables. That is, all the variables together jointly have an effect on the dependent variable in the long run because this one shows long run co-integration. There's going to be long run convergence to equilibrium at the speed of 98%. So the error correction term gives you joint causal effects. So this is for the full sample. So now let's look at the result for the individual countries or the respective countries. Remember that the upper part of the table is still the homogeneous long run coefficient. It's the same thing as the one I showed you before for the full sample. So now let us look at the results for the countries. If you look at the upper part of the table, these are the long run coefficients. It's the same thing as the results shown for the full sample because the PMG assumes that long run coefficients are the same for all the units that make up the panel. So the upper part of the table indicates long run causal relationship, just the way I explained it uh, earlier on. While for the respective countries, you can infer short run causal relationship between the regressors and the dependent variable and you can infer strong causality looking at the significance of the error correction term so all these have been explained here but if you still want to perform your world or grandeur test if you know how to do that you can go ahead but like i said i don't do them i look at the results and i infer causal relationships now the last step is looking at diagnostics Again, this step is optional, but I will advise that you do it. However, the diagnostics should not be conducted on the panel, but it must be group specific so that the results can be compared. What do I mean? You have to perform um, individual time series analysis on the countries or the units that make up the panel, then afterwards perform diagnostics. So if you don't know how to do them, please watch any of my time series ARDL videos for you to know how to perform diagnostics using Stata. So this concludes our tutorial on panel DR estimations. I hope that by now you can confidently run your panel data analysis. Again, let me reiterate that the data I have used to run these analysis will not be available 
um, on the public domain. But the do file will be available on my website. So load in your data and use my do file to run your analysis. So again, these are the references. Please do not substitute video tutorials to reading. Read up. It will deepen your understanding on how to handle panel ARDL estimations. It's been wonderful having you around, sticking with me, listening to me on how to conduct panel ARDL estimations. Please share my videos and my links. Subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Please don't go away. I'll be right back with more interesting topics.